who you eyeballing. Happy Monday, guys. We got offloaded and are at a pilot now, waiting to see what we will get. No calls yet. We are actually on the Birmingham, Alabama board right now. There are four trucks here. We are third, second team, and they are doing an average of six loads a day. So hopefully we can get something out of here today. It's pretty cloudy out. Let me show you. Pretty cloudy. I think it's like 90% chance of rain. It was really cool here last night. I think in the 40s, we uh, had to run the heater because it was chilly. So yeah, we'll see what we get. Hopefully we can have a really good week this week, just like the last week. Last week was awesome. Hopefully we continue that trend. We'll see. Hey y'all, so it is Tuesday afternoon now. It's almost two o'clock and we finally got a load. It's a little kind of a shorty run, but puts us in a really good area to probably get something right out or within a day. So it's picking up here in Alabama, going to Indiana. It's gonna be 472 loaded miles. The deadhead is 24 miles and it's 10 pieces at 3,140 pounds. Like I said, we're getting ready to go pick it up. We can't deliver it till t in the morning because even though it's kind of like an eight hour drive, by the time we get there tonight, they're not going to be open. So we'll be delivering it first thing in the morning and then hopefully we'll get something out of there. Hopefully. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, they uh, do do stuff out of that place. So. Yeah. We need to get to a couple, so we need to get to like a Walmart, Home Depot um, and do laundry still. We have not done that yet. I was hoping we were going to be able to do that today, but they got us to be able to pick this up today because originally it wasn't going to be picking up till tomorrow. Wine or butt? What are you whining about back there? <coughs> oh, you say hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, guys, this, gosh, this truck stop, we're at a pilot and it has been busy here today, right? Yeah. There's been a lot of people in and out of here Trucks today. So. in and out, left yeah. and right, yeah. parking next to us, pulling out <laughs> from next to us. And... Uh, I mean, it is technically only, what is it, one o'clock almost here because it is central time here, but yeah, it's been really hopping today here. But that's what we're doing, guys. We're gonna go get this picked up and knock it out and get there probably tonight, late tonight. Late tonight, get a good rest tonight. Yeah, good night's sleep, get up, deliver it. Deliver, be ready for anything tomorrow. Yeah, so fingers crossed we get a good one tomorrow. First oil change. First PM service in the new truck. What's our mileage at? 20,000. I don't know if you'll be uh, 19,844. So why are we getting it done now? Uh, because I want full synthetic. Once we get this first one done to get, I guess, what, the break, break out, break out, what is it kind called? Kind of break in oil. Break in oil. Um, then it's every 50,000, right? Uh, with uh, oil analysis, if, as long as we're doing oil analysis, we can go that long. Yeah. <laughs> Jason's inside because we have to set up our own account with Speedco. Um, we've been to Speedco 
that's where we've always gotten the oil changes and all the trucks we've driven but it's always was under the owner's name so since this is the first time coming in our truck we need to set up an account with Speedco. Speedco has a rewards program if you didn't know that I'm not really sure all the details on it but I know after a certain amount spent or after a certain amount of oil changes I think you get um, certificates where you get money off of your oil changes which is it's not that's nice you know if you're going to begin your oil changes there anyway or any kind of service PM service generator service the rewards program doesn't cost you any money just like the rewards programs at the truck stop so why not take advantage of that he's getting all of our information set up inside and once they do that they'll start our PM service well this was a quick trip Jason just said they don't have our oil that he wants to put in yep. <laughs> What kind of oil is it? Uh, full synthetic. Full synthetic. Shell Rotella T6. Shell Rotella T6 full synthetic. They don't have it. Bummer. Because we really like the Speedco, so we really wanted to get it done here. That's all right. We will get it done another time. Those for my coffee. <laughs> he got to get off those. I'm so you feel better. Oh, I love me a shower. <laughs> yeah, we needed showers. This place is pretty cool. It's a Seneca. and it's not a real big place, but it's awesome. They only have two showers, but they only charge five bucks for a shower, which is way better than paying 12 at like all the truck stops yeah. so yeah it's really cool they got some parking not a whole lot of truck parking we're the only one out here right now but all that back there is truck parking now what are we gonna do laundry take a nap no laundry take a nap. <laughs> jason could take a nap while i'm doing laundry <laughs> <laughs> So we're trying to find an adapter for our faucet. We were originally getting to get a lower flow um, faucet just to conserve more water. And then we found these little doohickeys that are a sprayer that you can swivel and spray. You and can adjust it yeah. any way you need. And... Which I would really like that because um, some of the pots that are a little bigger the faucet that's on the sink I have to put it so close to the edge that sometimes it's difficult and, it, and water goes all behind the sink so on the counter so that would alleviate that problem we need a female to female yeah, connection awesome Yay. we're gonna get both of these just in case because if fine. this don't work we'll take it back some other time that's fine wish us luck hopefully it works so we're also gonna get these hooks we need a hooks to hook our Bluetooth headsets so that they're up out of the way when we're not using them. Those are some nice safety glasses. Hey, those kind of look like your sunglasses. They do kind of look like my sunglasses. <laughs> this size. Try them on. Nah. Nah. All right. That's it. Let's go. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get out of here. Before I spend too much money. <laughs> Look at how cute this hook is. 
I would get that just for decoration. That's super cute. What's that? Oh, a combination, combination lock. Combination lock, because you know we're always forgetting our keys. But, but this I'm, doesn't stay sealed. Yeah, I was gonna well. say that would probably. It doesn't stay sealed. Get, yes. Yes, okay. sir. Thank you. It would probably get messed up in the. It probably would. With the weather. That one. Am I like I'd forget the combination? What's this one? Look at that one. Or this master. Oh, it's got like a little. Yeah. Like that one's really long, but look at this one. The shorter one? Yeah. I mean, Smaller. we just bought a new lock though, so. <laughs> we don't need a new lock. Please allow me. What is it? That's the power of the Home Depot. <laughs> is this the 1.5? Yeah. Moment it, of truth. It's a pump. Look at that. Turn on. Look at that. Excited. Don't waste my water. <laughs> We're all excited. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at these are the little things that excite you out on the road, okay? <laughs> We're not crazy. These are just <laughs> these are comforts that are very awesome. So yay! We it's need to tighten yeah, this we need to tighten that. That does seem really That's loose. That's loose, huh? Yeah. But hopefully that holds up because it is kind of all plastic. It's not metal. I like there. it. We got that other flow thing too, so unless you're taking that back right now. I can take it back. But what if this doesn't work? Okay, well we'll keep that. Keep it for a spare. Awesome! Mission accomplished. <laughs> the whole reason we swapped out that um, adapter piece is because the one that we had was a... 2.2 .2 gallons per minute. Right, so it allowed more water to flow out. So we were really trying to get one to, that was like a 1.5 or a, a... One, the one we got one. was a 1.5. Right, so it restricts the water because that way it'll save on your water using more water that you don't need to out of your tank so you don't have to fill them up as often. Super glad that worked. I'll, I'll have to let you know how it works once I try it out later. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, guys. We do have a load that we're going to be picking up tomorrow. So I will start the next vlog with that load. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing. And until our next video, peace, love, and expediting.